Okay, what you see in front of you is a common BSR record changer that can be found in many all-in-one shelf stereo systems as well as console stereos and even found in some component type systems. This basic changer was made from around 1968 up until the early 1980s. In fact, this is one that I salvaged from that Lloyd's console that you might remember me doing the end of the line video of several months ago. In fact, somebody called me a dumb bastard for not saving the record changer out of it. Well, I'm that dumb bastard and here's the record changer out of it. So, what we're going to do today is try to get this changer up and running and this one exhibits a common fault that all of these BSRs seem to exhibit at some time or another is the platter is completely seized up. It will not rotate. And what happens, the grease that they use to lubricate these things, after a while it turns to glue. And it's a very common problem. In fact, I was seeing this problem 25 years ago. And now we're going to look at steps to take to free it up without damaging the record changer. So many of these I get, after they become frozen, people will try to forcefully turn these or whatever and it ends up ruining the mechanism the key is you want to be gentle take your time I found that once these BSR changers are cleaned and lubricated they're usually fairly reliable for their intended purpose so the first thing we want to do is remove the little clip that holds the turntable platter in place and in this case, you have to gently pry up this little decorative ring here to give you access to the clip. You want to be careful when doing that. You don't want to crank, crinkle up the little decorative ring here. You want to keep it nice and straight. And here's the ring lifted up from the turntable platter. All you do to remove it is just simply take a small blade screwdriver or some other similar tool and just gently pry up around the edges here and it'll easily pop out. In fact this ring still has the protective plastic on it that, that you're supposed to remove whenever you unpack the turntable but the original owner never did. Okay now that the ring is off we now want to remove this little clip right here and once again you just take a small screwdriver or similar tool and gently pry the clip off and here's the clip now ideally the platter should not lift off but since we have hard lubricant to deal with it's not going to simply lift off so the way I like to do this is to apply a little three-in-one oil around there let it soak down in there and this is a good time for me to emphasize again, be patient, be gentle. Your record changer has likely been frozen up for quite some time. It can wait a few more days to uh, for you to get it working again. No need in using rough treatment and possibly ruining your record changer. Now one method I found to that sometimes will expedite the process without causing damage is to apply heat to the center here. Sometimes you can use a soldering iron to accomplish this or a standard old hair dryer. Just get it good and hot for a few minutes and that will usually cause the old grease to break loose and then you can lift the turntable platter off without damaging anything. So right now I'm going to try the blow dryer for a couple of minutes and see if that has any effect on it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay so the hair dryer method is not working too well and I actually sort of melted the rubber mat a little bit. So yeah use caution when using a hair dryer take care not to melt anything so now we'll try method two and that involves removing the spindle which usually just lifts up 
Now sometimes they can be a little difficult to remove, but most of these changers were designed to accept either an auto play spindle or a manual spindle. So most of these auto spindles are designed to be removed. And now we'll just take our soldering iron that's nice and hot and stick it down in here for a few minutes. Let it get good and hot. Maybe that'll soften the grease up and there's less danger of melting the rubber platter mat. And the soldering iron method is working. The platter is starting to free up. So we'll leave it, leave the soldering iron applied for about another minute or so and hopefully it should be freed enough to be able to remove the platter. Okay, the soldering iron did the trick. However, we can't leave it like this because that old grease is just going to get hard again. So now we have to lift the platter off and clean off all the old grease and re-lubricate. And we now have the platter removed, which brings us to common problem number two on these BSRs. Like the turntable platter, this uh, cycling gear often gets seized up, and that appears to be the case here. And we, we remove it just like we did the turntable platter. We remove this clip here, apply a little three-in-one oil to soak down in there, and apply heat, either from the soldering iron or from a blow dryer. In this case, I'm not as worried about melting anything. Since we have no plastic platter or rubber platter mat to contend with, well, actually, in this case, the platter is metal, but on many of these BSRs, the platter is made out of plastic, so you want to be careful when using heat to free up the platter. And you can see I'm holding the soldering iron in place to get the shaft hot, which will in turn loosen the old hardened grease. And for best results, you should probably use a little bit heavier duty soldering iron than my in this little well or soldering station, but this will still get the job done if you're willing to wait a few minutes longer. And while you're letting the heat do its thing, very carefully work the uh, gear back and forth. This will also help the grease loosen up and make it easier to get the gear off. And there you go. Off comes the gear. Now you have to clean off all this old grease that you can see is very hard and sticky. I just use regular old rubbing alcohol for that purpose or just standard electrical contact cleaner will do the same thing. And then once you get all the old grease off, you can use a product like Phono lube or luber plate or lithium grease to re lubricate everything. You also want to pull these washers off the center and clean all the grease out of that, out of your bearing assembly, and re lubricate. And you'll generally need to take the motor apart and clean it and re lubricate. I'll demonstrate that in another video, but my main purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to remove a seized platter, which that seems to be an area that a lot of people have problems with. And like I said earlier, they often ruin their record changer for getting in too big of a hurry or being too forceful. So, you know, doing it my way, you're not likely to ruin anything. Just be careful with the heat not to melt anything, and you should be good to go. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.